Hello, everybody. Can you see me? Hello. Oh my god. Thank you, Switchy, for subscribing again. Yo, what's happening, everybody? The holy day is upon us. You can't even fucking see me. Watch this. Watch this high-tech shit right now. I'm gonna do some high-tech shit. Oh, turn the lights on from my phone. That's right, Bruce Wayne style. Or do I want it purple? Oh, I like it like that. I don't need the purple. All right. Okay, everybody. I wish it was a little more zoomed in. I don't know why the camera did that. But, anyway, uh, welcome everybody, one and all, to the final... F Actually, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna bring it closer, I'm gonna get closer. Can't be sitting, can't be sitting all the way back there. Yo, everybody, we're doing this the right way. They just released the holiest of holy games, Final Fantasy VII. It's up on PS4, and it occurred to me, I downloaded it, and I went, oh my god, I can stream this now. So, I've already played this game about a million times uh, since fucking junior high. I've played it a billion times. Um, I'm thinking, what's going to motivate me to play this again? And then I realized, ugh, I could play it with you. I could play it with everybody watching. So let's play through the game together. I'm going to play the whole fucking thing with the community. I'm not going to, you know, I'm just going to, that's going to motivate me. Instead of, uh, you know, the game's not widescreen anyway, so I'm not really losing anything by adding the chat on the side. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Actually, I'm not gonna play very long tonight. I know I just said I was gonna play the whole game. But fuck that. I only have a little bit of time, so I'm gonna play it a little bit right now. But we'll play it, you know, more as time goes on. Okay, first of all, let's ask the audience, what should uh, we call Cloud? What should we name Cloud? Yeah, I got the Final Fantasy VII Remake. That's right, it has leaked out. I got it. Where do you see these graphics? Randy Tortilla, I'm seeing some people say Randy Tortilla. Randy Tortilla or Tanner, I'm, I'm liking Tanner. Let's go Tanner. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking Tanner. Alright, Tanner is the winner. Alright, we got Tanner. Uh, I have to say, th this version of the game, I wasn't planning to re-download this, but man, it is cr so crisp and clear. Uh, even though it looks like a PS1 game, obviously, it is such high resolution, it looks so good. Uh, this opening to the game is very high energy. Great opening to a game. Yeah, this remake is really crazy, you can tell it's on the PS4. All right, what do we name Barrett? Everybody in the chat, uh, you tell me. What are we gonna name Barrett? Let's get that name out of there. What do you think? Yeah, the PC port. I never played the, the PC version. Garrett, we're not gonna name him Garrett. That's a person. Okay, a lot of racist names. Shame on you. Timbo, I like that. Buster. Creed. 
Yeah, Timbo. You know what? Timbo's a good good name. A lot of racists in the chat, but I like the name Timbo. All right, Timbo. Now, what I'm liking is they added all these uh, features to the game, to this version of it, to where if you click down on the right stick, it just maxes you out. Like, it gives you a limit break right then and there. Uh, which some people could call, could say it's a cheater button. Just don't press it. If you don't want to press it, don't press it. No one's forcing you to press it. Um, what do I think about them changing the battle system in the remake? I'm split. Uh, part of me likes that they're treating it like a new game. That they're remastering a classic story, but but treating it like a, like really like a brand new game. The other half of me th feels like they're overthinking it. Like, you don't need to do that. Turn-based is fine with me. But you guys can see how snappy and quick this version of the game is. How did I feel about the trailer as a whole? I thought it was awesome. It was awesome seeing uh, Biggs and Wedge and Jesse like in modern day graphics. I don't know, it was really cool. Anyway, you can see how snappy and quick this version of the game is. I'm using the, by the way, I'm using, in honor of the game, I'm using the PS1 style controller. This game is only 10 bucks right now. Uh, so I had to pick this up. Would I want to see any other games get a remake? Uh, Final Fantasy VIII isn't my favorite, but it was solid. And, uh, that game still looks pretty good for a PS1 game, whereas this game is crippled by the package that it was put in. You know what I mean? So this is more deserving of a remake, but I wouldn't be against an eight remake. I think eight was great. I wish six would get a remake. That'd be cool. Okay. Yeah, Biggs and Wedge, look how you imagine. Yeah, that was really cool. Whoops. You can see how quick the battles happen and stuff. I could also click down both sticks and it turns off random battles. Now see what happens when I click down on the stick. See, it maxes me out. It's a little cheater button, and I don't mind it because, frankly, I've played this game a thousand times. I don't care. I could use a limit break on everybody if I wanted to. But I don't want to cheat necessarily in every part. I don't want to, I don't want to have these things on. So if I, okay, so if I click down on this stick, it turns on a fast forwarder. So then I can go super, like, cracked out fast. Look how fast that goes now. Oh my god. No, I don't want, I don't want my stats up. But I could, you know, you can kind of fast forward through it. That's kind of neat. Should we play cracked out mode or should we keep it normal? I kind of like it normal. Cracked out's a bit much. It's like playing on an emulator, you got that right. But the only thing is, they added all this stuff. Where are the save states? There's no auto save or save states. That's like the one thing I would have added. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Game's a masterpiece. Can't hate on it. And by the way, if you want to hate on Final Fantasy VII, go ahead and uh, report yourself to Twitch. Then go ahead and delete your account. Uh, there's no point in continuing, because, uh, frankly, there's just no room here for you. Um, Final Fantasy VII is the godfather of video games. They're talking about the Shinra Corporation sucking the lifeblood out. Tanner ain't hearing it. Timbo's all about it. All 
right. Chrono Cross better than Final Fantasy VII. Go ahead and just ban yourself. Uh, that's an invalid statement. Uh, that's not correct at all. Though I do wish they would add Chrono Cross on here. Again, not going to be playing very long tonight. Sorry about that. I hope that I was joking about the Chrono Cross guy. I really don't. I hope, I hope you didn't. I hope nobody banned him. That was a joke. Didn't, he didn't really need his uh, comment deleted. I'm just being, I'm just being me. I'm being rambunctious. Robo guards. I forgot about robo guards. there were robo anything called robo guards in this game this game has such creative environments even this elevator look at the design in the elevator you got the things blinking like even though it was a ps1 game and these guys all look like fucking popeye you could see the level of detail and imagination going through it you know what i mean that's something that's kind of missing in a lot of games today all right so we're going to the reactor attack. All you have to do is hit run for a second and you flip back around, so they didn't fix that. Am I importing Dead or Alive Extreme 3? <laughs> Did you even need to ask? Am I pumped about Cloud and Smash? Absolutely. I'm gonna play the hell out of it. Love this music. This music is dope. How many Tatas will you see in VR? Um, unlimited. That's why I'm done with this reality shit. I'm, I'm moving on to virtual reality. This isn't the way I came, is it? Did I already come from here? Shave my facial hair again. Yes, I'm sorry you have to see that. I had to shave for a video that's coming out next week. Limited edition. I think I ordered the regular edition. I didn't. I didn't need a boob mouse pad. Believe it or not. Okay. I already talked to you about that. I don't need to know more about ladders. This version of the game is so snappy. We're just moving on. Gears of War vid part two. Oh no, God no. Smoke shot. Did I get Xenoblade Chronicles X? Uh, you know, um, I was supposed to, but Amazon didn't ship my copy until this morning. I don't know what happened there. I pre-ordered it way in advance. Um, I wanted to play it. I've got... Uh, my brother actually went and got a copy of it at GameStop, because they had it. And so I actually have it in my Wii U right now, and I was going to play that, but... Uh, I'm downloading a ton of DLC to like help with the loading or whatever, and it's still not done, so I just... I moved on to this. You guys know too. 
if you get this version of the game, you also get a Final Fantasy VII remake theme for your PS4. And it was playing the Eris theme in the menus. It was beautiful. How's the Patreon-funded new show coming? Uh, you can probably expect it er, um, early in the new year. Um, we, I'm, I'm not sure if we've gotten the first funding yet from Patreon. I know people got charged, finally. Uh, once we have that, we can begin. We have a few different ideas. We're just waiting to see on what we're gonna what we're gonna begin with. So you will see stuff soon. Uh, my goal is to have um, our podcast looking a lot better uh, by the Christmas cast. I don't know if we'll make that or not, but I'd like to do that. We'll cut. I, I, I always save a second time. Is that weird? I double. I double check it. Um, what kind of sound setup do you guys have, or do you have? Are you talking about sound in here? I have a 7.1 surround. I got two tower speakers here. I've got a bunch of speakers in the back. Powered woofer, all that good stuff. Christmas cast food hit. Uh, I'm not going to give a hint, but it's going to be uh, interesting. I want to do something more unusual because last year I felt like mashed potatoes was not really that interesting. That's just me, personally. Alright, here we are. We're in the... We're going to blow this place up to hell. Just got to watch and make sure you don't pull nothing. Oh, you see, he's starting to have those flashbacks. This isn't just a reactor. starting to weave a story a little bit. The PS4 theme that comes with this game is awesome. Am I worried they'll butcher Cloud's personality personality Advent Children style? Uh, yeah, possibly, but it looked pretty good in the trailer that they showed today. Alright, fuck it. I'm maxing out on this guy. I don't give a shit. more excited to see Tif Tifa or Yuffie in HD. Tifa, come on. You joking? Don't you know me? Alright, we gotta get rid of this scorpion asshole here. This guy's being a this guy's being a punk. We gotta slash him up. Uh-oh. Attack while it's tails up. Oh, so don't attack like right now. I wish I wouldn't have done that. Tanner a potion. Hey, Timbo, you get one too. Guy on the couch looks gay. Is 
is Dominic shutting off the Apple TV before the Capcom Cup tomorrow. Oh, uh, that's funny. What was everyone's favorite announcement from the PlayStation uh, event today? Because I gotta say, man, a new res? Oh my god. And it's in VR? I almost passed out. I couldn't believe that. Alright, this guy's taking too long. Oh, there we go. Shit was boring, Yakuza 5. I didn't think that shit was boring at all. Are you serious? Today's PlayStation event was awesome. Yakuza 5 is coming, we know that. Yakuza 0 is coming to... Alright. We've already gone through this, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kick it into fast-forward mode. Fuck this. We've already walked through this place, right? We don't need to see it again. Uh, but anyway, Rez is incredible. Uh, Nino Kuni, I don't care about at all. Personally, I thought that, that was kind of boring, but visually, visually, that's gonna be amazing. Oh, okay, it's kind of hard in fast-forward mode. Oh. Oh, these battles are going to be all fast. Oh, my God. I'm not going to keep it in this mode, but I just figured for right now, let's just get the hell out of here. You know what I mean? There were JRPGs. There was Nino Kuni 2. Looks gonna look amazing on PS4, but I, I didn't really uh, enjoy playing it that much. The first one. I think it was just a bad idea that I played it after Xenoblade, because Xenoblade was so uh, fast. You know what I mean? It was hard to go back to that. Oh. Yeah, that guy wore a crash shirt, didn't he? That was kind of messed up. I don't understand when they do stuff like that. I don't get it. This is the way to play it, man. Just haul ass out of, out of this place. Okay, I'm putting it back in regular mode. Oh, she fell. Look at, oh my god, look at the, the, P, the power of the PS4 is with us. Look at that glow, look at that amazing, just, you thought that was real? You thought something bad happened to me? It's just the game. That should keep the planet going at least a little longer. That line always stuck with me when I played this way back in the day. Um... You know, it's like they went through all that just to get an inch more out of, you know, their cause. And I always thought that was, like, kind of a grim moment. Oh, my God. You guys seen those graphics? Unbelievable. This is not live footage. This is not live footage. You probably think it is, but I'm sorry. Rendezvous at Sector 8. Alright, let's do it. I 
always, sometimes when I used to play it, I would hang out in these areas before you had to move on and just kind of look at all the little details and stuff, you know? Again, like in every frame, there's a lot of, there's a lot of detail. This game, you know, even though it's in polygon graphics and it's, it was on the PlayStation, uh, still maintains the same directing and the same kind of atmosphere as the Super Nintendo games. You know what I mean? Like, the aesthetic of the Super Nintendo games, is, like, like Final Fantasy VI, is still here, even though it's in a 3D plane. Do you know what I'm saying? Am I sounding crazy? The way this is directed and staged, this little, like, tableau right here, you know, is kind of just in that same vein. Does that make sense or I sound crazy? Anyway, can't get back in here, huh? All right, I'm crazy. This is a great shot of the city right here, Loveless. I remember that too. It's just rare to see a Final Fantasy game have like artwork in it like that, you know? Flower Girl. What should I say? Here's a question for the audience. I'm gonna be playing through this game, and if you've ever played it, you know that you can actually kind of respond to the different girls in different ways. So, you know, if you're extra nice to Eris, or if you're extra nice to Tifa, or whoever, that's who you would end up going on a date with later in the game. Do you remember that? It's like you, you score like love points with them. So my question to the chat is, who should I be more nice to? Like, who should I go for? Should I go for Eris? Aerith? Whatever? Should I go for her? Should I go for Tifa? I don't want to... Uh, the yuffie thing is, is too hard. But yes, doesn't something happen with Barrett? I don't know if I've ever had that happen. So you're saying be mean to both of them. Or Tifa. You know, I found that I've beaten this game a few times and I find that the scene that you get, uh, the scene that you get uh, when you, yeah, you go on a date with them at the gold saucer and the scene that you get is just kind of you and them having a conversation. And I find that it's more poignant with uh, uh, Eris, Aerith, whatever. Because she kind of talks about her life and like, she kind of just talks, she gets really introspective. Uh, so that's a little more poignant. Anyway, I'm gonna try being mean to both of them. Let's see what happens. I actually think you have to not talk to any girls to be unless forced to get the date with them. Huh. All right, I'm telling her to get out of here. Thank you for that comment, Sturm Tiger. Like, I've always wanted to see high-res versions of some of this stuff. Like, that, that poster in the background. What is that? Warning. What? I can't read that. Just think, on, on someone's computer somewhere, there's a high-res version of that. Right? Doesn't there have to be? Wait, what was that? There was like another door up there? There's something in here? Oh. This version does have trophies. I already got some. See all the detail, like the electricity in the foreground. energy being talked about
Did the big Patreon stuff come through? I don't know if it's... I haven't seen it come through for us yet, but I know people were charged. So maybe there's something I need to do. Uh, should I fight them? Yeah, screw it. Step of the way, why not? Let's fast forward through this a bit. We're just skimming right over that. Fast forward is nice for the for the shitty battles. Oh, this is a slick, great cutscene right here. Look at that high definition 4K cinematic. Look at that. That was not real footage. Some people got their copies of Time. That's cool. It smells like maple syrup. That's also cool. I think we're still responsible for that. Door is going to open right there. Is Tanner going to stick around? Can you adjust the aspect ratio? I don't know. He's trying to get in. There it is. Order of time. The time DVD came before the shirts. I don't know. Do you live in Canada? Because Canada's customs make no sense. A lot of people get their Black Friday stuff. What's he smoking? Yo, what's he smoking? That an e-cigarette? That's an e-cigarette, mother... Uh, wake up, he's saying. He's a clearly... A I love this part. Watch the... Look at the transitions as they leave the screen. This is one of my favorite parts. Watch. Whee! Watch. Whee! I remember that looking even goofier on PlayStation because they would just cut out. They wouldn't even go through. They would just cut. They would just... I think, I think it was this one. Oh, she's cute. She's about to... Well, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but she dies. Watch this. Whee! Any hidden stuff? No? Okay. Whee! So they actually enhanced that because they used to just stick on the screen in the original one. They do a really good job here of showcasing kind of how everything has gone to shit. Uh, you know, um, it's not over the top Fallout level, you know, whatever. But it's all just kind of, uh, it's kind of the worst of Japanese society. You know what I mean? It's like, a ha you know, it's a hassle to be on the train with other people. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, this guy's... Nutty. Oh, hold 
If I recall correctly, this didn't happen long after there were attacks like this uh, in Japan, so I bet some of that probably hit close to home for them. It did a really good job of uh, okay, guard tells you to stay there. Um, yeah, I got it. I think, uh, what do you have in mind? I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to this asshole. There we go. Okay, we're taking a look at the map. This is all set up very, this world is immediately set up in a very kind of Star Wars way, where there's already a battle going on and you're just kind of thrown into the middle of it, but the world is uh, really established to the point, you know, they have all this laid out, you know, the world building is really strong. That's why this game, I think, endures so well, is the world building is incredibly strong. It's not, you know, it's not like there aren't other amazing Final Fantasy games, uh, but this game really builds its world very well from the get-go. Um, so did Six, really. Uh, it kind of, kind of set up that there was no magic in the world left, and did a really good job of that, um, you know, but anyway, uh, you know, there's other Final Fantasy games that are good, but like Final Fantasy VIII, I really enjoy that, but that world is really indecipherable. From the moment it starts, you know, it's kind of like you have to discover it as you go. Not that that's not entertaining, but... The second seven starts, you really feel like you're here. Like, you, this is a place you can go. It really sells it to you right away. That's what Star Wars is good at. Star Wars immediately feels worn, like you've been there and it's dirty and you, you know. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII is cool, but, it, you know, you're in this kind of floating fucking... You're in this school that looks like a giant seashell and it's like... I don't know what the rest of the world really looks like, you know? Um, again, I'm not knocking the game, it's a great game. But I think why 7 endures as much as it does is because of the world being immediately palpable, if that makes sense. 8 was a lot of fun, but it wasn't quite as... It wasn't quite as uh, impactful from the beginning. Uh, it was a really fun sense of exploration, and so are the other ones, too. I'll say the same thing about 10. Uh, 10 is not one of my favorites at all. But uh, it's fun to play. Um, but that world isn't really... Again, it's it's kind of ambiguous in the in the way that 8 was. It's like, I don't, I don't really know what I'm going to see around every corner. Which can be fun on its own, I guess. But, but 7 is really tangible from the beginning. I, I feel this world from the beginning. Does that make sense? Twelve is really good. Uh, the, the story I don't really like in twelve. Uh, but uh, it has a very, it has a very uh, big uh, world to it, a really interesting world, um, and I really like that. I don't know if it's quite as clear cut as Sevens is from the beginning, but it's really interesting. The world is interesting from the beginning. The plot ain't that great.
It's because of that. He said fuck. He's saying fuck there. It's because of that fucking people. Or pizza, not people. Sorry. I confuse pizza with people all the time. We do need a Final Fantasy XII remaster. I agree. Big pizza in the sky is just draining up everything. He's talking about a lot of sad stuff. People are tied to a place because it's their home. Sad stuff. I remember back in the day when that was the pinnacle of graphics, right there. I know that's not in-game graphics, but you know what I mean? It's like... So fucking cinematic, you know? I'm excited for Final Fantasy XV. I actually really like the demo. I had a really good time with the demo. And I kind of liked the world. It felt like the Midwest with... Bizarre creatures in it, you know? So I dug that. We'll see if the whole, how the whole game fares, but uh, that part was cool. The demo, I mean. All right, he's rallying the troops. They're going to take care of another reactor later. These guys are, for you know, for what it's worth, they are terrorists. But they think it's for their side, and that's what any, you know... Any good story is someone fighting for their side. Metal Gear Solid, they do a bunch of illegal shit for their side. Maybe they're, you know, they could be wrong, but... For the sake of the game, we stand with them from their point of view. It's all about intention. I don't know why I went back there. I do love how, how fast this all loads. I love the little conversations. I'm not letting you go tonight. Isn't there somewhere we can go to be alone? Wow. These two want a bone. Definitely get a bone. Alright, well, they're running that way. What the hell is this guy doing? Oops. If the pillar comes down see if they show the shot here. Yeah, there you go. See how big this pillar is. If that pillar comes down, the whole Midgar city comes crashing down. I wonder if that's foreshadowing. Could be. I guess you're going to have to keep watching to find out. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Tanner, they're calling Tanner over. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to stop for tonight right there. I know that's not much. Does the save point not heal me? Am I just spoiled by that in every other game? I guess so. Anyway, I'm going to halt right there. Would I play the remake if they reduced the size of Tifa's breasts? I mean, I, I you know, I'm against censorship. I'm about freedom of speech. Uh, and I think the most important thing going on in the world today is the defense of our freedom of speech uh, through the form of video game breasts. So, you know, how could I say I'm okay with that? That'd be anti-American. You know, it's, you know, we gotta protect the freedom of the people. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk right now about ISIS a lot of talk about what's going on, Planned Parenthood, uh, gun control. To me, that's all bullshit. That's all a waste of time. Why discuss that? For me, no dead or alive extreme in the U.S. is like worse than all of those combined. As far as I'm concerned, um, they're you know basically taking the Constitution, and wiping their ass with it. So um, shame on the terrorists who are probably behind it. So, um, you know, I hate to get political, but, you know, let's be real. Let's talk about the real issues. Okay, anyway. All right, everybody. Thank you. I'm going to stop for right now. 
and uh, it's been fun, but I will be back on here soon. I'm really enjoying this. I want to play through the whole game this way. So uh, we're going to let everybody uh, go for now. But anyway, uh, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll be back on Final Fantasy VII at a later date because, frankly, the game rules. I always, I always get paranoid, and I gotta save it then. I realize you can stream with this. Yeah. So I'm doing it. I'm about to stop right now. I just gotta save again. I just did this. Everybody just saw me save, but I always, in my head, I always go, do it again. Do it again. Anyway, alright everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll be back at some point. I don't know, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I don't know some point. Let's play some more Final Fantasy 7 because the game rules. And by the way, anybody in the chat who says it wasn't the greatest game ever, uh, I have reported you to Twitch and you will be persecuted. All right. Good night. Persecuted.